So I'm sitting here with the two with the two people who launched me. Like that's fucking crazy, guys. Well, there's a third. Our, our there's friend, a third. Our friend, there's a third. We, have, a we third. have the clip. Hold on, Na- <laughs> Matthew Cox. Let's give our fr- our dear friend Matthew B. Cox. <laughs> let's give it. Let's give, call. Let's give credit where credit's due. Credit is due. We, me was, and Julian were not the first layers. Yes. There was a layer below us. Cute. He's the he's the G folk. Uh, greatest there, there fraud of all time. Bustamante said he thinks that they're going to evade before the new the presidential election. No, like they don't. I don't. I, I don't. I can't. I can't believe that. First of all, that you need specialty. That guy's a, that guy's a geopolitical I, I, galaxy. I hear, brain, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I mean, I'm, that's. I know that's just stupid to go up against Bustamante. I don't, <laughs> but I'm saying that I was. I've been watching a bunch of videos, and so that makes me an expert. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok all day. Um, no, he's ex CIA. Right, I know. I know. I'm the Not one current. that told you you've got to interview this guy. Mm-hmm. Who is he? I don't know. Two weeks later, bro, did you call him? What? Who is this again? Matt. Ugh. You, what does he want? I don't you know. Literally bugged me to call Bustamante for like six right. months before I called him. Now look at that guy. Then he calls him. Bustamante blows up. He won't return a fucking text. With me. <laughs> Wait till bro, you see. I loved it. You said you come on my program. It's like it's. it's He's working on something big right now. He's about to be worldwide. Insane. Mm. Um, yeah, he's stepping on the backs of little people climbing the ladder. I get it. Oh, that, how dare you? Probably won't talk to you. He's not probably going to talk to you in six months. He'll be like, Danny Jones. God, that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> You cut off. You cut off. The, you cut off the end of that where he, he leans far. He goes. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. <laughs> that is fabulous. How did you guys meet, by the way? So, so um, Matt was doing a screenplay version of one of the books that he wrote when he was in jail about a big guy who had ties, like a big criminal that he met in the prison. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Who had ties back to CIA, and he found me through my my first like audio only yeah. podcast, and uh, and he reached out to me via email or something like that, and he was like, "Hey, man." You know, I met this guy in prison who I think had ties to CIA, but I'm writing a screenplay and I'd kind of like to run the story by you to see if it makes sense. Mm. And Matt and I just, I mean, we clicked right away. Like this was, this was, he was just a painter in freaking Clearwater or some shit. Like he was restarting life mm. all over again. Love he had it. still had his website, his blog, where he has all of his true crime stories. Um, but that's, we just started kind of brainstorming. That was way, way early. I had, nobody knew who I was. I didn't have my podcast up yet. I had nothing really up, right? I had a website. I don't even know how he found me necessarily. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jim, you I, said he was like I a met, great FBI employee, right? I met Max <laughs> in a, I met Matt in a different way. <laughs> um, <laughs> probably one of the best agents I ever had work for me. <laughs> no, he was, he's a solid, hey, listen, he turned it around, man. He jumped on he Team did. USA. He, did. he, he doesn't, that. he doesn't shy away from what he's done or who he was. And he's helped a shitload of people. Yeah. He has. He it, that's a good, that. yeah. that's a great thing. Yeah. I wish we can say that about some of the people who blow their own horn and haven't done that. Yeah. Matt haven't Cox, made the transition. Matt Cox has helped me a lot and he has never asked for a single thing in return. To this point, I, like, I feel like I haven't given him enough value. Like I, I, As hard as that is for some people to believe when they hear him tell a story and everything, like Matt is a very interesting human being. He's only got $5.7 million in restitution left. <laughs> Oh, he's there then. He's almost there. He's almost there. <laughs> paying back. At 100 bucks a month, paying hey. back Bank of America. But yeah, yeah, then Danny. Danny here brings Bustamante on, does a bunch of killer podcasts. One three years ago, another one on UFOs. And then well, the third one was on Russia-Ukraine right when it was breaking out. Yeah, right? yeah. Yep, you yep, predicted yep. the Taiwan thing, and then it was off to the races after yeah, that. If you like this short clip, make sure you click here to see the next clip or here to see the full podcast episode. Fresh song.